morning everybody and welcome to another edition of CWC. We're out on an autumn break, but that doesn't stop us from nipping out for a run. This is Tomo. Hi. We are going to go out and do a Tempo 10k. Yep. Yes. Yeah? Not Everything? together. Not together, no, but we're going to do a Tempo 10k and we'll touch base at the end and we'll see how we've got on. Yep. Okay. Okay, so a slightly different uh, episode this week. You are going to enjoy a slightly strange run where we went out in the dark and ran bits of the Monster Trail. So stay tuned and, and enjoy the show. We'll catch you later. I find myself in a very strange place. Uh, not the sort of thing I normally do, but I'm out with an in intrepid crew. Look, people hear you. This is a night run on the Monsel Trail. How far are we going? Uh, 13. 13. 13.1. 13.1. The temperature, it's about one or two degrees. It's cold. Oh, we it's think. Cold. That's, that's Claire, Claire, how do you feel about the blizzards coming in? I'm all right, I'm okay. Okay, we're gonna be all right. All right, this is officially the start. We're here. We've got Louise, We've got Tomo, Aaron's here, Yurk's here, Nina's here, Claire here. Right, who knows what we're gonna see. Yeah, all right. Have a great time, guys. Well, we're not that far in, but look, there's a little bit of daylight. We're running with, uh, with Claire. This is uh, Friday night. Is this how you spend your most of your Friday nights? Not normally. Okay. So what, what brings you, what, what makes you want to do this sort of run? Um, it's just a little bit different, isn't it? It is a little bit different. And I've yeah. nothing else to do, so I thought, wait, have a go. Okay. And of course we've got Aaron. Now Aaron, you were saying this was one of the runs that uh, in July, half marathon mania. Half marathon mania, do you remember that? Well, but, it was a big thing. Yeah, when we think back it was an hot summer's day, Lou was here. Yuck. Yeah. It seemed really nice. It was a really good day, wasn't it? Down, didn't you? You said, yeah. I want to come out down and do this at night. I want to do this at night, but in yeah. hindsight, on yeah. a Friday night. He's a man of his word. <laughs> When he made that commitment. So this is one of your favourites in Half Marathon Mania. Yeah, because you get the, uh, the lovely uh, tunnels that you go through. And let me tell you, today is my wedding anniversary. I'm going to refer to them as the Tunnels of Love. Okay. Well, let's see how we get on. Now, when you're on the, the Monsel Trail, and we're what, about three miles in? Have you felt that? Yeah, three. There we go, look at that. Okay. We are going through a large tunnel. This is the Headstone Tunnel. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not sure you're going to see too much. Yeah. No. A lot of floodlight uh, yeah. illuminating the tunnel. Look at the speed. Here we go. And you, uh, the marathon. You fully recovered? I'm, I'm absolutely fully recovered. Okay. I've been now, my legs are back to normal and I'm full of beans again. And how, so. how do you reflect on, on the day? Was it the day that, was it, wasn't it obviously the day that you was pooping? No, lesson learned. There was, the, there was a few mistakes I made and, and this lesson that I've learned. And does that mean, time. is there a next time where you're going to put it right? Uh, there will be a next time for next year's London Marathon. Okay. And I will use Edinburgh Marathon if it goes ahead as practice for the London Marathon. So you've got Edinburgh and London in the plan? Yes. Oh, very impressive. Well, well done this year. Uh, you were out there doing it and I thought that's all that counts. <laughs> Thank so. you. Hi everyone, and today's stretch is for the soleus muscle, which is the lower calf muscle. So just above your Achilles tendon. Those of you who do a lot of long running, you'll probably uh, be really familiar with, um, with the pain that you can feel in the lower part of your calf muscle, but you might not always necessarily know how best to stretch that out. So I'm gonna show you the stretch today for your lower calf muscle called the soleus. Um, and hopefully this will bring you a lot of comfort if that's something that is feeling a bit sore for you. Okay, so you need something uh, that you can just lean against just to keep your body um, from uh, falling over to the side or anything. And all you're gonna do is on one leg, 
you're going to lean that knee as far forward as you possibly can until you can start to feel in the bottom lower part of your lower front leg that you're standing on that stretch in the soleus muscle also notice that you really feel it uh, working your quad muscle as well so all your body weight is over that leg over the knee and stretching out that soleus muscle again hold this stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and then ease out of it slowly give your leg a shake because you'll need to uh, shake out the quad as well and then same with the other leg so just lean that leg forward as far as you can so it's good for ankle mobility as well just until you can feel that stretch in the lower lower calf muscle again holding it for 20 to 30 seconds and then easing back up so that is our stretch for the soleus muscle um, have a go and hopefully that will bring you a lot of relief to those tired muscles Sun's out. That's the view. It's a day. It's a day of celebration today, babe, isn't it? It's only is. We're out celebrating. Yeah. Would you believe it? We're out. We're on. We're on the birthday run. Yay! The birthday run. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We're celebrating today. Well, would you believe it? I know you, the answer is no, but I'm turning 50. I'm moving into another age category. If only there were some races for me to capitalize on. But there isn't, but we're out and we're gonna run along the coast. And Tom is gonna sing all the birthday songs he knows. Happy birthday to you. Yes, we had that one already. Okay, Tom, let's run and sing. Well, I've woken up today, 50 years old. I've gotta say, I don't feel any different, but I've gotta be mindful now of not overtraining this old body. So maybe I'll slip in an extra recovery day every now and again. But is that the thing, isn't that what I've got to do? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. But look at the views. Doesn't matter whether you're 21, 50, 75. Beautiful. Okay, we're down on the uh, the beach. Tomo's still singing. Celebrate, good sir. Oh, and we've got to remember, as we celebrate, it's not just my birthday today. So if you're having a birthday, happy birthday. Special mention to Louise Robinson celebrating her birthday today. And also the actor Bob Hoskins. What I can't remember, is he alive or is he dead? Mm. Tomo. They're singing Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. She's got a great voice when she sings. Happy birthday. Well done, mate. Well done. To be honest, though, we're going to run out of birthday songs, I think. I think so. Now, we are running into Walcott. If ever you, you know where we are. And not too busy today. Yeah. This tomorrow is one of your favourite running conditions. Yes. I'm one of my favourite places to run. The sound of the sea. Yeah. Clear blue skies. Blue the sun beating down. A little chill in the air. You love it. Yep. Yeah. Perfectly autumn. And we'll look back and say, what a day on the 50th. I'm 50 years young. Is it your birthday? You wouldn't know.
Now, sorry, I'm not too busy on the beach. How's okay. the run going? All right. Yeah. On the sand, it's quite compact though. Well, uh, you've got to take it, take in these sites because soon you'll be left with the urban, dark roads. You know, yeah. hill reps on a oh. on a on a street. So beautiful, beautiful run. When you don't live by the coast and you like running at the coast, you've got to take full advantage. Oh, we're still singing. Who, who on earth could forget? It's a cliff. Still celebrating the birthday. We've run out of songs though. We've exhausted the uh, the library. Any more in there? Um. No. I think we're done. He's optimistic. Oh dear. We'll be having fish and chips on the way back. Faces back. Tunnel number two. This is the Cress Brook Tunnel. Tunnel even. And here they come. The explorers. So, so I'm enjoying the run. Yeah. Uh, feedback that you've not been featured on CWC. Can we put it out there that uh, we're going to rectify that? in the forthcoming episodes. I'm not sure about that. I'm here now though. Okay. And let's live in the now, yeah? Yeah. Well, we have made it to the turn point. And look, the turn point is this particular part, Miller's Dale on the Monsell Trail. Hang on. The conveniences, let me tell you, are open, which has been met with a positive sign. Eloise, how are we getting on? Mm. Tell me, is the temperature sufficient? <laughs> I've got a mouthful of gummy bears. Okay. Mm. As yes, you the temperature is good, thank you very okay. much, Ian. Okay, so far so good. We've yeah, got... good stuff. Let me tell you that. Now, Nina, you, know, okay. you have done the, the marathon with Yuck, uh -huh. and you've been dragged out to the Monsell Trail. Yes. How are you enjoying it so far? Uh, I, I think it's fabulous. Oh, okay, that's good enough. All right, we're at, we're my at the first half. Night run. It's my first night Try run. Okay. My first head torch run. Um, my first time on the monster trail. Okay, well, good. I'm glad it's all going well. We, be we've made it to halfway. You're all good for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no problems. Okay, well, that's great then. <laughs> Look at those lights. Very impressive. Can't see anything really, but. We're going through Lytton Tunnel, tunnel number three. If you haven't uh, run on the Monsell Trail, you don't need to do it in the dark. Come up during the day. It's a beautiful trail with a lot to see. We're still going. The team are still together. Look, it's good grouping. You can't see anything. But we're now going through tunnel number three. We're about, we're about nine and a half miles in. Louise is gone. She's just left the group. She's decided the pace is not right. Oh, no. She, I think she stopped. Oh, it's for a photo. Well done, Louise. We've done, uh, we've done the run. We're back at the base camp. Uh, that's, that's Claire. So, how was it? Hello. It was okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Tomo for you. Yeah. Okay, well done, Tomo. Louise, for you? Yeah, it's good, thank you. Okay, the others... Sore now. Heard now. Heard now, not sore now. Heard now. Well, that's uh, 13 miles up and down the Monsell Trail. Uh, 
a little bit different, quite oh, nice. Yeah. You know, do something different in the dark. It's uh, a, a different perspective on things. Certainly going through the tunnel. So, uh, not something I'd normally do, but yeah, great oh, fun. So, yeah. highly recommend it. Well done, guys. Well, here we are. We are on the jetty at historic Great Yarmouth. That is where we are. And there are the views. Of course, as ever, I'm here with Tomo. And uh, Tomo, let's just talk for a minute about your running plans. Have you got anything planned? Silverstone half. Yeah. Well, we found a race. Found Do we think it's going to get cancelled? So we think this one's going. And when is it? November, November the fifteenth. Holes down there to me. So, any chance of you going for a swim today? No, not sure. If I gave you a thousand pounds, would you go for a swim? Yeah. <laughs> Two thousand pounds. <laughs> No. 2,100? No. 2,200? No. Alright, can't afford any more. <laughs> Tomo misses a chance to walk away, walk away with tonight's star prize. 2,200 pounds. But she says no. No. Instead, she walks away with nothing. With nothing. Well, we're back. 10k is tough. It's very tough out there. How about, how about for you, Tomo? It's tough. Windy. It was windy. That's cost us a few seconds. I'm going to say... There's probably another 30 seconds if it was a race, because it's on your own out there. Another 30 seconds quicker, yeah, for sure. So, how, how do you get on? Uh, I'm going to be 4726. Oh, smashed it. It's impossible, really. I don't you know got, how I did that. You've got to be pleased with that. Yeah. Oh, okay, 4726. I'm here in a race. 46. Late 46. <laughs> got to be happy with that. So, you're optimistic. No. It was, uh, if you'd seen me, it was grim. I was hanging on, but. You try your best. I did low 38s, um, which is about, I don't know, six, six, ten a mile, which uh, given today, that was all that was in the tank. So uh, my tips, 10K, try and keep the same pace. Bang, 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 six, ten, six, ten. A little bit fluctuated, but uh, you've got to work up. Keep it even. Any tips from you, Tomo? Uh, no, hang on in there. Hang on in there. That's the first of Tomo's tips. <laughs> yeah. But be careful with what I say. Right, uh, guys, listen, whatever you do, enjoy your running. And stay safe out there. Bye.